Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Wrapped. Finally, after a long wait, ColorOS 5.2 update is now out for Realme 1 users. The update was initially expected sometime around last week of October to first week of November, but then it didn't happen. The beta testing of the ROM itself commenced during the third week of November, and after about two weeks now, the stable users are also getting the update. The update initial rollout started on November 29, but this is a staged rollout like OnePlus is doing these days, so it's only limited to selected users, and the final rollout will happen by December 3rd. If you want the update right now, you need to fill this Google Doc form with the IMEA number of your phone and then within less than 24 hours you will get this 2.11 GB update as OTA. So as you can see the update is a big one size wise and also features wise. I have downloaded it, now let's reboot and finish the rest of the procedure. The installation is successfully done via stock recovery and as you can see this is the new boot animation. This is a new lock screen with a new theme for the clock widget. It's vertical now, the digital clock widget and the position also changed. About the installation time, it is exactly 5 minutes. First let's check the OS version going to the settings about phone. Color OS version is 5.2, Android version is Oreo 8.1.0 and the security patch level is of October 5. Now let's get back to the other changes the Color OS 5.0 update will bring to your phone. First about the launcher home screen, here also we get a new clock widget at the center and the Google search widget is circular now instead of the rectangular one we had before. Next to the left side of the home screen, we have smart assistant with a slightly different theme and we got new widgets for weather and step tracker. Next there's new material design for the icons. As you can see, these icons look much better than the previous ones. In case you are still seeing the old icons, open the theme store app and reapply the default theme. Next the status bar, the clock is at the left and now when you connect the headphones to your phone, you can see the headset icon in the status bar. Next we have the new quick toggles and notification panel, here the grid size and icons for the quick toggles are changed and the biggest change about the notification panel is that now you can dismiss the notification by a single swipe. When you slide the notification to the left, you still have the delete icon but you can simply swipe right on a notification to dismiss it. Next this is the settings panel, almost same UI and features as before. As you can see there's Oppo ID sign in option at the top and with this update you get the O roaming feature which is same as OnePlus roaming. This feature provides data packages of local carriers across many places worldwide and you can simply purchase a data package of your choice and access internet without a SIM card. There is a dedicated app shortcut on the home screen to access O roaming but you can also find it under SIM card and cellular tab. Next under notification and status bar tab you have new options like allow notification bar in the lock screen and show banner notifications in the full screen. Next the battery tab has also been redesigned. As you can see there's new UI for the current battery percentage of your phone and there's new smart power saver mode and also smart power saving scenarios. Under sound and vibration tab there's a new option to set the default volume adjustment to either ringtone volume or media volume. Next going to the smart and convenient tab. Here there are a couple of new features, for one now we can press and hold the power button for 0.5 seconds to trigger the Google Assistant and about 3 seconds for the power off page. Two smart sidebar. This is a smart sidebar which appears on any screen be it home screen or settings panel or any app. With the smart sidebar enabled you can use the quick apps and quick tool features just like normal apps from the home screen or settings page and can also be used to call up the designated apps in the floating windows when you are using some other app just like the picture in picture mode. Next the smart scan which you can find as an app on the home screen and when you hit the scan document button it takes a picture clicking next and here as you can see just like Google Lens it can recognize the text from the picture and you can copy paste the text content somewhere else. Next new smart driving mode. When it is turned on the Bluetooth gets turned on and will be ready for the Bluetooth connection in the vehicle. You can automatically turn this on when connected to your Bluetooth car kit and there is also do not disturb living mode just like the stock DND mode. Next the gaming acceleration tab has been renamed to game space, this new game assistant option under it and now you can keep the games running with the screen off. Next you can switch to audio playback mode in the video player for the background playback of your movie and this is the button that can toggle the mode. Next the photos app video editing feature gets fast and slow speed adjustments, extra filters and tunes. The timer feature of the clock app has also been updated. When I hit the clock widget on the home screen, you can see the timer feature and under it there are custom timing modes for multiple activities like the ones you see here and finally the recorder app now allows you to add markers during recording or playback. 
That said, this is definitely great news for Realme One users as this update brings a lot of useful improvements and features to the UI and I'm very much looking forward to the Pi update which is going to be released next year. So if you had upgraded, do let me know what you liked in this update in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon in my next video.